probably on the more tan side of the Caucasian variety. Brown eyes. <laughs> that helped me exactly, not at all. She's Mexican. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> Challenging video for me. Hello. Well, you guys picked an American who learned French in school, so. No, I <laughs> definitely cannot tell the difference. Yes, yeah. Yeah. definitely, yeah. Like I can say you are not from Spain, but I cannot say exactly where, where are you, are you from. from. It is not too clear, but uh, okay. 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 So I cannot really distinguish by looks very well, but growing up in America, we also know that like Latin America has a lot of diversity in it. But if I was going off of like the stereotypical looks, let's do Spain here, kind, kind of on there. <laughs> I would also guess down here is Spain. Usually when I think of a Spanish person, I would think of someone who's probably on the more tan side of the Caucasian variety and brown eyes. So I'm gonna guess here as well. So I would be guessing here, like that. <laughs> I know, I know a lot of like Mexicans do who are like super pale and they have like naturally like red hair. You don't wanna be canceled, right? I know, but still, it's cause like, it's all on stereotypes if it's yeah. from looks yeah. anyways. So my final guess. So could you guys, one at a time, introduce yourselves in Spanish? Hola, me llamo Carolina y trabajo en marketing. También soy influencer en redes sociales. Y bueno, mi hobby actualmente es estudiar coreano. I caught the English words. <laughs> Yo soy Paloma, también soy de marketing. <laughs> también soy de marketing, tengo 23 años. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Hola, yo me llamo Laura y tengo 26 años, he estudiado diseño de moda y estoy aquí en Corea trabajando. Yo soy Marta, tengo 20 años y estoy aquí estudiante por traducción. Hola, me llamo Laia y um, tengo 23 años y actualmente soy estudiante y me gusta el taekwondo. Uh. I don't know, what did she say at the end? Like after, uh. <laughs> she likes taekwondo. She likes taekwondo. Oh, okay, very cool. I think you used a different term when you were intro introducing your name. To my ears, there's really no difference. Really? Not enough of a difference for me. <laughs> yeah. Really? And how we yeah. introduce, everyone says something really yeah. particular from their place. Oh. I can tell. I can't. You can't? I can. I, yeah. yeah. Join Team yeah. America over here. It should be me. <laughs> With the name and how they say it. Yeah, wow. yeah. the name yeah. is like really specific from places. I don't know, I have friends from Barcelona and they don't have really strong accent. Oh, but I, so, I don't know, the, the way they say it. The Japanese way is like jumping, jumping, jumping. <laughs> of your favorite Spanish song. Could you guys share with me like the name and the artist if you know their name or you know, your best attempt at singing? At oh. Singing? Yeah. You don't have to like sing, sing. You could also just like say the lyrics, it's okay. That's a famous song, yeah. Okay, Mecano, for example. I think every every Spanish know any, like at least one Mecano song. Uh, I was gonna yeah. say Rosalia. Oh, Rosalia, yes. I don't know any of her music, though. The only, like, singers that I know, I do not speak Spanish. I do not know how to pronounce their names correctly. Carla Morrison, Indie Rock out of Mexico. That's all oh, I know. No, I know. Your favorites? Rosalia. All of them. <laughs> all of them? Okay. Malamente <laughs> Album. Motomami. Do you have a favorite one? I would say Fade. Fade? Fade. Fade. It's really famous. Uh, recently, I've been listening to Young Miko. Oh, oh. Young Miko. She like rap yeah. and yeah. stuff, so. Do you want to rap for us? No. <laughs> skills? No, that's why. <laughs> okay. So I will say that helped me exactly not at all um, because I don't know what countries those singers come from except for I think Rosalia is not Spanish I think it's not Spanish. she's Mexican but I don't know oh my god her. Okay. Okay. Oh my. It's like pretty common in America, unless you're like Latina, Latino, to not know Rosalia. Yeah. She's not a singer that like we know super well, but I think now like younger people are starting to get more into her music. I've been out of the loop of music in America for a long time, though. Do you guys have a favorite food? Ideally, one that does not have an English name. <laughs> For me, it's lasagna. Okay. okay. Las croquetas. No. Oh, no, she stole it. 
<laughs> she stole me. <laughs> My first food is croquetas. But I said it like in five videos already. Oh, really? Yeah. I would okay. change, I would say like albondigas, that is meatballs. And then for you? Tortilla de patatas. Okay. Oh, really? I like that one too. Okay, so I'm going to stick with Spain for her. At least not the Latinas, Latinos that I know would typically pick an Italian food as their favorite. Croquetas is like a bechamel. <laughs> yeah, you can have a flavor. It can be like ham bechamel. And then you just like put bread outside and fry it. Yeah. Crunchy. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it is very really good. good. <laughs> well, meatballs are meatballs, but the way I eat it, for example, is like with white rice, natural tomato sauce, mm. and fried banana. Oh, so I'm gonna stick with Spain for her too, because all the people from Mexico that I know would have said that they wanted plantain and not bananas. Okay. Okay. But it is because we do it with banana. We don't do it with. Ah, the... see, I don't know the food well enough <laughs> then to know. Okay. Tortilla de patate is like a big omelette made with potatoes, onion. Like it depends on what you, how you like it. It's yeah. also tortilla de patatas, but they but that's the original. basic. Not the there is actually a fight in Spain, like tortilla de patatas with onion oh, or no, without the onion. Who's with onions? With onions. And you guys are without onions, you too? Okay. <laughs> Debate in the comments. <laughs> and a little soft. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, not dry, not dry. Challenging video for me, because I don't know enough about Spanish to even know like what to ask. Could you say, I can speak Spanish? Puedo hablar español. 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 Okay, I heard the same thing, something with you as well, for a second from the end, where it was like kind of that same Spanish Spain sound to me. <laughs> I'm kind of between, I'm between our second from my side and our end for, for Mexican. So I'm gonna change my guess on who might be from Mexico. I'm gonna move this. Okay. So when you guys are listening to other Spanish speakers speak in English, can you tell from their accent? Yeah, yeah. sometimes, yes. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the accent is really strong. Very used to movies. You also mm. listen a lot of English growing up with uh -huh. different accents. Could you, in English, say, he has a hat in his hand? He has a hat in his hand. 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 Okay, what do you think about this? Maybe because in Europe, uh -huh. it's learn British, British. English, oh. and in Mexico, it's learn American, American English. English. So that's different. Mexicans typically learn more American English. The two that sounded most similar to American were the two that I am still going back and forth between at the end. <laughs> And our second person from like my end, they sounded the most similar to American. Well, I think you guys might be trying to trick me. So I'm gonna stick with my current guess, I guess. And I feel like our girly at the end as well, she also said more different. So I'm gonna guess that our girl on the end is Mexican. Could you guys, one at a time, starting here, tell me your nationality? Yeah, I'm Spanish. Okay, we got one. <laughs> I'm Mexican. Okay, well we almost had, we almost, we were close. Uh, yeah, no, of course I'm Spanish too. <laughs> me too, Spanish. Yeah. Same. So I heard you guys mention that you can tell the difference too between like Catalonia and Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she guessed it at the beginning when I in introduced myself. She said yes. like the area of Spain I am from. Yeah. So are you the only person from that region? Me too. Both yeah. of you? Okay. I have a lot of Spain girls. And actually, I just saw her food. I was like, I know, yeah. I, know, I know her expressions, I know her food, I know everything. I was like, I'm Laura. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Laura. And then I was like, yeah. Well, we almost got him. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like they have super the different words. The vocabulary and the end of words, like the S sound is yeah. very so different. Thank you. In Spain, like, it's mostly. Gracias. In Mexico, is like, gracias. Oh, okay, I hear it now, yeah. You have a really difficult, I was like, I can't pronounce the S. When I was a kid, I couldn't say the S and the C together. You have like, a Catalan accent speaking yes. English. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or how do you say, for example, Barcelona? Barcelona. That's the lisp I'm talking about. That's what, to, to American English, it sounds. We yeah. use a lot of Spanglish. Actually, for example, when you like go to the parking lot mm -hmm. in the north of Mexico, that we're like more close to you, we say parqueate. Oh, so really similar, yeah. It's uh huh. Or so it depends. You tell the pants. In Mexico, sometimes in the north, they say pantalonera, which is pants, and we put a little bit of Spanish. So uh huh. Pantalonera. How would you guys spell? the word color. How would I write it? Yeah. Ooh, I, the second one. Yeah, yeah me too. The, the British style? Yes. Yeah. 
Also, I mix a lot. Yeah, in British English, and yeah. sometimes American people they laugh when I'm speaking to them, and I say like, "Oh, you know, yeah, my timetable is this." And uh -huh. They're like, "Timetable? Ha ha ha! It's kero." I'm more used to like use British words because we studied in school that. But for more informal conversations, I tend to use more American slang because I learn it from like YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah, that could be more British. So today, I tried to pick out the Mexican from the Spaniards. If you like the video, subscribe, like, and comment below. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.